a district council is developing a large area into botanical garden it is to comprise a series of walkways through native forests conifer paintings plant collections and seasonal display so there are two tables here so this first table the table below gives the approximate walking time in minutes between nine vista points of the proposed garden and the cost in dollars to lay in lay irrigation pipe work for each section of the garden so how would you read this card uh, table so this first table is these numbers are denoting the time so the distance the time taken from to go from a to b is seven minutes uh, the time to go from a to d is 12 minutes and so on and to lay pipes irrigation pipes from a to b is uh, 8400 so what it means is there is a path probably that takes from A to B and there's a path from A to D and A to E and so on. So if the distance from A to B is 7, the distance from B to A is also 7. So the distance from A to D is 12, the distance from D to A is also 12. So there will be two numbers. So let's look at the first question. What is the first question? The first question is, okay, so I'll put this like this. Okay, the first question is before is whether they are traversable. So first you have to draw uh, the network diagram, a graph or the network diagram for question A and for question B. Are the proposed botanical gardens walkways, walkways traversable? Traversable means you start at a point and you can finish at a different point. The only thing is you need to pass through each or without you have to pass through all of them without retracing any path okay so you have to walk through all the paths without retracing any of them so to answer that question you can actually start with question B now for traversable there's two rules one is it is traversable if all the nodes are even so if all the nodes are even you can start anywhere and uh, you would you can finish anyway but and the other option is one two of the nodes should be odd and if two of the o nodes are odd you start from one of the odd nodes and end at the other odd node so let's first count the uh, each node has got how many connections or how many parts so node a is connected to b d and e that means it is an odd node so let's write O for odd. B is connected to one, two, three, four no nodes, so that's an even node. C is again one, two, three, four, so that's even. Hopefully you've done it. So if you just count uh, the nodes, each node is connected to. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. I have done the all the nodes, so only node a is e odd and odd uh, sorry i is also odd so it is traversable so let's answer that question so the first qu question b you can answer directly so let me bring this up properly okay so are the, so we'll draw the diagram later are the proposed bot botanical guy walkway traversable so yes we can say because you have to justify it because there are exactly two there are exactly two odd nodes odd odd nodes at a and i okay so which means so you can start you can start at A, start at A, and finish at I. Okay, so that's the answer. So let's draw the network diagram. So A to B, okay, so A to B is 7. So you can draw a line like this. So this is the walkway and it takes seven minutes. 
So you can cross this 7 and this 7. A to D is 12. So A to D is 12. So I'll cross this A to D and D to A. Okay. A to E. A to E is 16. 8, sorry, is 6. So you can write a 6 here. So A to E you can and E to A can also be crossed out. Okay, starting from B. B to A is done. B to C. B to C is how much? B to C is 12. So let's cross that 12. And C to B is also 12. So cross that out. B to D is 8. So B to D is 8. So I'll write 8 here. So cross this. You can do the rest. I'll pause and then come back. So this is the network that I have drawn. Okay. And uh, so I have joined all the nodes from uh, A to R and whichever can be connected. So it looks a bit complicated. So I'll show you. Okay. So those who haven't taken, if you want to take this down, let me remove this so that you can see the numbers properly. So, so basically you have to be careful, one small mistake uh, can make the whole thing wrong. So it's a good idea to do this work with a pencil. So if you want to erase something, you can do that. Okay, so in the assessment that you're going to do, I would like you to use a pencil to draw the network specially. Okay, so this network is done. We have answered question um, question A and B. Now let's read question C. If the garden is traversable, show possible route on the diagram below. Clearly identify your start and end. So as this is a network with two exactly two nodes, two odd nodes, you can start at this point. You can start at this point A. Either way, you can start at a and you would end at this point or you can also start at i and finish at a so to draw the network i'll use the red so we'll start say from a to d a to d okay and from a to d i'll go from d to b okay so you have to uh, pass through each of the node okay to be traversable you have to pass through each of the node or go to each of the node and not retrace any path okay so then from here i'll go to c and from c you can go to d you can do draw this in different ways so a b c d is done so where should i go now so now I will go to E. So from here, from this point, uh, I can go to D now. Okay. I can go come back to a node. Okay. So I started A, D, B, C, sorry, B, F, C, D. Then I'll go to E. Okay, and from that, there I can go to G. And from G, I can go to H. And from H, I can go to end here. Yeah. So this is, so let me write the numbers here. Yeah. So I start again, I'll, uh, let me do it again. Let me use a green color. So I went from year to year. That's the first. Then I went from year to year. Then this. Then I went to E, G, H, and I. Okay, so let's draw that in question number C. Question C. Okay, so so you're starting at, you can go from year to year. So that's, then you have reached here. 
then you can go here yeah. and finally here. Yeah. So this is traversable so you have started at I so this is your start point and you have ended here. Okay. Okay, let's look at question E. In the construction of the garden, irrigation pipes have to be laid. The cost of the cost to lay pipe for each of the section is given in the second table. So this is the second table. Find the minimum spanning tree for the irrigation pipes and the expected cost. Okay. So to draw the minimum spanning tree, you have to start basically uh, from the minimum, the lowest price, and keep connecting the nodes uh, from there. So the lowest price is 5,500. So that is between A and E. So I connect A and E. Okay, so that's, so let me write 5,500 here. Now to get merit or excellence, you have to explain the order in which you connect it. Or basically you have to explain where you started and what's the logic of connecting. Okay, so if you just draw the minimum spanning tree, you'll get an achieved. But if you want to get more than achieved, you have to explain what you did or the steps. So you can say things like, I connected first A to E because it's the lowest price. Okay, what is the next lowest? Well, if you look at the table, it takes a while to find the next lowest. That is between B to D. Uh, B to no G to I. If you look from G to I, I've already worked it out. G to I is uh, G to I is seven thousand eight hundred. Sorry, that is not the lowest. The next is seven thousand five hundred. Okay, so seven thousand five hundred is the next. So it is between B to D. So I'll connect B to D. That is 7,500. <clears throat> is there anything more than the, uh, the same 7,500? No. The next is 7,800. That is between G to I. So you're connecting G to I. So that is 7,800. Okay, the next is 8,400. There are two 8,400 between A to B. You've got A to B. That is 8,400. And there's one more 8,000. And B to C is also 8,400. So you're connecting 8,400, both these. Okay, the next is, so you can kind of circle this. Okay, the next is, nine. there are two 9,300s. Okay, C to F. C to F is 9,300. And there's one more from G to I. Uh, G, F to F to I, sorry, F to F to C. Okay, where is F to C? F to C is done, yeah. And F to I, okay, it's very difficult at times. F to I, yeah, there's one more. So, so you can connect F to I. It's also 9,300. And now only unconnected is H to G. The next lowest is uh, okay of course the next lowest is 10,900 so let's look at this 10,900 is from F to D so should I connect F and D okay F and D should not be connected because it's already connected okay the next is uh, the from H so let's look at from H to the lowest to be connected for H to be connected is 11,200. So this is 11,200, and this is the minimum spanning tree. 
So the minimum cost for laying the pipeline would be the total of all these dollars. And I think you can do that yourself. 